chapter 21. Now these are the judgments which you shall set before them. If you obtain an Abri servant, six years he shall serve, and the seventh he shall go out free for nothing. If he come in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he were married, then his wife shall go out with him. If his Adoni have given him a wife, and she have borne him sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall be her Adonis, and he shall go out by himself. And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my Adonis, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free. Then his Adoni shall bring him unto the judges, and he shall also bring him to the door, or unto the doorpost. And his Adoni shall pierce his ear through with an owl, and he shall serve him forever. And if a man surrenders his daughters to be a maid servant, she shall not go out as the men servants do. If she please not her Adoni, who has betrothed her to himself, then shall he let her be redeemed, to surrender her unto a strange nation. He shall have no power, seeing he has dealt deceitfully with her. And if he betrothed her unto his son, he shall deal with her after the manner of daughters. If he take him another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage shall he not diminish. And if he do not these three unto her, then shall she go out free without money. He that smites a man so that he die shall be surely put to death. And if a man lie not in wait, but Alua deliver him into his hand, then I will appoint you a place whither he shall flee. But if a man come presumptuously upon his neighbor to slay him with guile, you shall take him from my altar, that he may die. And he that smites his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. And he that steals a man and sells him, for if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And he that curses his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. And if men strive together, and one smite another with a stone, or with his fist, and he die not, but keeps his bed, if he rise again and walk abroad upon his staff, then shall he that smote him be innocent. Only he shall pay for the loss of his time and shall cause him to be thoroughly healed. And if a man smite his servant or is made with a rod and he die under his hand, he shall be surely punished. Notwithstanding, if he continue a day or two, he shall not be punished for he is his money. If men strive and hurt a woman with child, so that her fruit depart from her, and yet no mischief follow, he shall be surely punished, according as the woman's man will lay upon him, and he shall pay all as the judges determine. And if any mischief follow, then you shall give life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burning for burning, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. And if a man smite the eye of a servant, for the eye of his maid, that it perish, he shall let him go free for his eye's sake. And if he smite out his manservant's tooth, or his maidservant's tooth, he shall let him go free for his tooth's sake. If an ox gore a man or a woman that they die, then the ox shall be surely stoned, and his flesh shall not be eaten, but the owner of the ox shall be innocent. But if the ox were wont to push, with his horn in time past and has been testified to his owner and he has not kept him in but that he has killed a man or a woman the ox shall be stoned and his owner also shall be put to death if there be laid on him a sum of money then he shall give for the ransom of his life whatsoever is laid upon him whether he have a gourd a son or have gourd a daughter according to this judgment shall it be done unto him if the ox shall push a manservant or a maidservant, he shall give unto their Adonai thirty shekels of silver, and the ox shall be stoned. And if a man shall open a pit, or if a man shall dig a pit, and not cover it, and an ox or an ass fall therein, the owner of the pit shall make it good, and give money unto the owner of them, and the dead beast shall be his. And if the ox of one man's hurt, the ox of another, that he die, then they shall sell the live ox and divide the money of it, and the dead ox also they shall divide. For if it be known that the ox has used to push in time past, and his owner has not kept him in, he shall surely pay ox for an ox, and the dead shall be his own.